Today is National Plan for Vacation Day, and it reminds many Americans, take a break, relax, unwind. We waste a lot of our time that we have off, and we don't even use it. So here to tell us about some musty spots in the most beautiful state in the country, Dave Lorenz, Vice President for Travel Michigan. We're so happy you're I here. I have a cold. I'm not shaking oh, hands gosh. this morning. Right, there you yeah. go. <laughs> it, pure Michigan, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, that's the way it is. <laughs> it's time of the year that you should get up and do a little skiing and such and, and use those resorts up north. People think just because it's not snowing down here, there's not snow up there. Well, there is. Oh, yes. So get up there and let's winter, everybody. I was telling you, I have lived up there. It's yeah. always snowy. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Especially in the UP. We're going to begin with some of the places, and Alpena is going to be the first destination. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful little town. In fact, I was just up in Alpena last week. Now, later on in the warm weather season, you'll want to go up there, especially to the Thunder Bay National Maritime Sanctuary. Okay. It's really uh, awesome. You know, the uh, shipwrecks that are there are unbelievable. Look you can see that. them by glass bottom boat. If you are a scuba diver, you you can see them that, that way so as well. Cool. Or just go to the Heritage Center and you can see, you know, all the displays they have. It's uh, really an awesome place. America's only freshwater maritime preserve like this. There are more than 100 shipwrecks in that area. That so you're going to so see cool. some really cool And things. it's Michigan. It's hard to believe that that's, you oh, know, Michigan. We'll awesome. talk about Southwest Michigan next. Uh, there are so many things that you would enjoy in Southwest Michigan. You know, there are these little pearls along the lake shore, little beach towns. Oh, I love the lake shore. They go from yes. New Buffalo all the way up the coast all the way up to Mackinac Island, really. But if you if you want to go to that southwest area, you'll want to go to the wineries. Make sure to check out the uh, the craft brew locations, yes. the distilleries, the antique shops, yeah. the, the you know various things like this. Make sure you go into the art galleries. The and there are so many like really great beaches, of course. Uh, you will not go wrong by going to that area. That's what I miss most about the west side of the state is the lake shore because it's it and it's such a hidden gem, right? Yeah, it's Think true. about the coast. Yeah, All right. right, what's next? We're talking about ooh, sleeping. Bear dunes. Sleeping Bear Dunes, celebrating the 50th anniversary of being a national lakeshore. Oh. You know, the two big national lakeshores, Pictured Rocks and Sleeping yes. Bear Dunes. Uh, it's an awesome place. And, of course, the Good Morning America viewers yes. called it the most beautiful place in America. Well deserved. And it is, because when you go there, you drive up that sleep, that uh, uh, wonderful little drive that kind of goes up through the dunes, through the forested areas, and then you come out and you see the lake, and it just kind of comes uh, uh, up in front of you. You're about well, three, four hundred feet up in the air there. And you can actually see the curvature of the earth at the water front, at the water. It's, it's unbelievably beautiful. Let's talk about the UP. UP, it just has so many things, it's, it's hard to even kind of encapsulate it quickly. Everything from Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore yes. to, of course, just plain crossing the Mackinac Bridge is an awesome it's experience. So, yeah, the it's, views are wonderful. It's Make sure to, majestic. It is. Make sure to go to a place like Kitchety Kippy, the biggest natural spring we have uh, near Manistique. It's, it's wonderful. Tequamanon. Tequamanon is uh, pretty cool. It's the second biggest waterfall, you know, this side. You know, Niagara's pretty big too, but this is a little bit smaller, but really awesomely beautiful with those amber color waters. It's a beautiful. This beautiful made me place. so happy. I love just talking about these spots in Michigan. Where can people find more information? For more information, go to Michigan.org. We're always there for you. Go to the uh, trip information with where we have itineraries and other planning advice for you. All right. Thank you so much.